it's a great honor, you know, just with, just um, with me being able to come back this year and have a uh, have another good year is always an honor. You know, that's something that I've worked hard for in the off season and with my teammates, and we were able to make it happen. I know you spent a ton of time in the off season trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, better route runner. How much did that pay dividends in the season? Did you feel it on the field? Yeah, um, I would say it did a lot. You know, um, I. I really think coming into this season, I was a much better player than I was uh, last year, you know, and I would give a lot of credit to my teammates and coaches for helping me um, do that. How much did you see Christian, your rapport with Christian grow from the start of training camp to the last game? I would say it grew a lot, you know, just um, just with Christian coming in every every game, every practice, just continuing to get better, you know, that says a lot about um, him and how we uh, progressed this year as a team. So, um, and um, especially with me and his rapport, I would say it got better each and every day. When you look at the numbers, 97 catches, 1,400 yards, how much fun did you have on the field this year? It was a great year. You know, I had a lot of fun, you know, just um, just going out there every game with my teammates and playing hard, you know, and we were able to have a good year this year. So um, I was saying, and then another big thing was um, finishing with a win in Wisconsin, you know, so um, it's always uh, fun when you um, get to play in games like that and come out with a victory. You had a ton of big catches this year, but when you look back at that night against Michigan, what, is that, what, what does that play mean to you now that you're a month or so away? Um, it still gives me chills, you know, um, just just with how that game was rolling and how we came back as a team and to win it four overtime is amazing, and especially in an environment like that, it was amazing. It means a lot to be voted by the coaches and also the media. Just to be able to contribute to my team and be an All-Big Ten player means a lot to me. I'm, uh, I'm honored to have been able to play in this conference for five years, and to go out an All-Big Ten player means a lot. What, what does this season mean to you? When you look at the way it finished up at Wisconsin on Saturday, how, how special was it to go out with that win? That was a great way to finish the season and just finish our careers as seniors. You know, me, Glenn, Ty, Adam. Just to be able to go out as winners, finish the year right, and give the Penn State community a good win to finish the 2013 season on. What has Coach Mack meant to your progression as a player on the field? You know, I'm really lucky to have Coach Mack. I've been blessed to have been coached by two very veteran offensive line coaches, both Coach Mack and Coach Anderson. And Coach Mack really brings just a great intensity to the game and just what he's taught me as a father figure and just leading me and trying to help me become a better football player. And I'm forever grateful to him for that. What have you learned from Coach O'Brien? Coach O'Brien's taught me the work ethic it takes to be a great football player, just seeing what he does, how much effort he puts into his job every single day, how much he loves the game. It makes me want to work harder every single day. He's a lot, I mean, just because I, I'm part of a, such a rich history in Penn State and tradition, and to be able to be on a wall here, you know, with all these, with all these guys, it really means a lot to me, and just shows how much I came, you know, over the last year of personal growth. So, I mean, it, it really means a lot to me. Yeah, talk about that personal growth. What was this off season like, and how much different was this year for you on the field? Um, it was. A big different for me just because uh, you know I put so much work in you know over the season, over the off season, and uh, you know just a guy I can't believe it, you know it paid off like that. You have a year I did, you know same time I ain't, I ain't give a lot of credit for me for my team. I mean my uh, D line really helped me out, the defense did too, and uh, you know we just did it as a unit, and I'm just you know I'm grateful. Coach Jay has had so many players on this wall and, and <clears throat> defensive linemen, Jordan Hill pictured over there. What does it mean to be a part of that? elite group of defensive linemen to be honored like this? Um, and, I mean, it's awesome because, you know, I always told people I want to leave my mark on the, on the program and be, be one of the greats and be able to you know, have my picture and name hang up with these guys. You know, it's just awesome and uh, it's something that you can't even describe. It's just a, it's a great feeling. What has Coach Jay meant to you? Oh, he means everything to me because he's like a second father figure to me. Uh, he took me in, you know, my freshman year and, you know, pretty much told me, you know, if I stick to these, you know, set of rules and, and guidelines, that I'll be, you know, a top pick in the draft, and I'll, you know, I have all these awards my senior year, and he hasn't lied to me. You know, I mean, it came out to be that, you know, my senior year, so he hasn't lied to me. He told me everything, you know, that that will happen, that happen, and uh, you know, it's just he's just a great man and a great coach. Finally, what did it mean to go out with the, that win on Saturday, Wisconsin? Oh, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, it was really awesome just because, you know, it was Wisconsin. Um, they had a 24-point underdogs, and you went there, and we, we, we stuck it to them as a defense and as a, you know, all, you know, total team effort. And, uh, but I think the defense really came in there with a chip on their shoulder, and uh, we did what we had to do. Congratulations. Thank you.